Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and we're gonna make a 30 minute chicken dinner. This chicken dinner is made with all those Thanksgiving flavors. So you can make this great dinner any time of year. The ingredients for this dish are chicken, chopped carrots, chopped celery, and chopped onion, and bread. And for this recipe, I'm using homemade bread I made for my bread maker. I have a recipe on my channel. I'll leave it at the end of this video and it's only about 40 cents a loaf. I've done the math. I'm also using chicken granules, or if you really wanna get ambitious, you can follow my bone broth recipe. It's very popular. And optional is parsley. And parents, the most fun thing about this dinner is that popped corn. My kids always take over this dish and make it themselves. So I suggest you firm this out to your family labor. And every household needs really great pots and pans. Thank you, Made In, for sponsoring this video with Made Better Pots and Pans that lasts a family a lifetime. Let's get cooking. Salt and pepper your chicken to your liking. Give her a flip for each side. And you're gonna need a lot of butter. And using sage makes it taste like Thanksgiving. So cut a Cuban butter in half to get to a quarter cup. And into a skillet, add your butter and skin side down chicken. We're gonna cook that first, cause that's temperamental. So lay them all in. I'm doing four today. And that's enough butter to coat the pan. So this is coming out. So let that all cook on medium. So while your chicken is cooking, let's make our stuffing. This bread is leftover and it's a little dry. Better to soak up all the rich broth and butter we're gonna put in there. We're gonna crisscross applesauce and cut them up into little tiny bites. And now we're gonna toast them. So in a medium pot, big enough to hold your stuffing, I'm putting in our excess butter. And our little pity pat is gonna coat the bottom of this pan and get ready for a mock pit party of breadcrumbs and bread cubes, as the case may be. And on a medium saucepan, turn your next largest burner on high. And add a whole stick of butter right in the bottom. And get her melting. And add your carrots, that's one cup. Your chopped celery, that's another cup. And a cup of onions. This is the quick method to get to the finish line fast. And the trick is, don't disturb them. Flatten it down and let them get a brown on one side before you give it a flip. That's gonna take about five minutes. Time to check our chicken. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So I'm gonna flip her over. Let's check this one. Nope, not good enough. Down she goes. Because really, doesn't everybody love that crispy skin? So while we're waiting, let's add our sage. A lot of it comes off in the cooking process. So I'm pretty generous with my sage. And let's give our breadcrumbs a stir. It's starting to get brown. You gotta keep an eye on that. It's been five minutes. Look at how this is already cooked down. Let's keep cooking, because I want some of that to be brown. This part of my stove is the hottest because this piece of chicken is sharing the heat from that pan. So I'm gonna turn my pan around. We need to share resources. And we need one and a half cups of water with two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. This is going to flavor up our bread and our vegetables for that stuffing, so give it a stir. Soup's on deck, so let's check now. That looks great. Flip the bird, every single one. Add some more sage and turn your stove to low. Let it finish up cooking. There's the brown I'm looking for. I can see it on the edge of the pot. Let's check them for tenderness. Wow. So when they're fork tender, time to add the broth. Just half your quantity and give it a stir. What we're doing is we're dissolving the bouillon granules with half of that broth. Bring it to a boil and reduce it by half. The reduction will take about four minutes and then we're gonna add a half a cup of parsley because I want that a little bit cooked so it's tender when it goes in your mouth. So give it a swish and stir that up. All of this cookware I'm using today is from Made In. I found it on the internet and it's a premium quality cookware made in the USA. And the reason I love Made In is it has premium professional and quality cookware at extremely accessible prices and every family needs a great set of cookware for a lifetime. The cookware I've gone through has had jiggly handles. It all can't go in the oven like Made In can. And if it's made with some coating like Teflon, it'll all scrape away getting your food. Made In is a five ply Exterior Pennsylvania steel, and it has an interior aluminum alloy, making for easy cleaning and really great 
heat conduction. It's dishwasher safe and oven safe. It's even heating on the pan base and on the pan walls. And that's what's gonna cook your food evenly and efficiently. And while this is super hot, the handle is hollow. So I can hold this and this has been on high for 15 minutes. It has a lifetime warranty and a 100 day free trial so you can try it yourself. And you can buy it online, so I put the link in the description box so you can check out all they have. When you have great cookware, it's exciting to cook. Let's check our dinner. Final stir. And off. And with your stuffing that's dry, in goes your vegetables with the reduced chicken broth and all that butter. And give it a toss like a salad. And so now we have to check it for moisture. And I'm thinking that one is a little bit too dry. And what our hack is, we saved half the bullion. And because you're making it in your home kitchen and I want it to turn out successful for you, depending how much you let those vegetables and broth reduce will depend how much more of the broth you want to put in. So here we go. I'm dumping the rest in and stirring it up. We can see the liquid below how we want that absorbed. But I do believe I like moisture stuffing. So I'm gonna add a little more water, maybe a quarter cup. And this is just what you do in the kitchen. I'm not gonna give you a ticket to improvise. This is why cooking is fun. It's so creative. That looks better. I really like moist stuffing. Just in case little Sally hogged all the gravy. And with the pan we cooked the vegetables in, it's time now to pop the corn. So get to your hottest burner. And on my stove, it's the big one. And turn her on high. And with a quarter cube of butter, and two cups or one package of frozen corn. That's what I do. I get that frozen sweet corn. It's petite. I just think it's more tender. You put it in, spread it to one layer, and do not disturb. And I put my chicken on the back burner and just keep her on low. I want her hot when I serve. And all of that luscious juice is not gonna go to waste. Stay to the end for my trick. So with that corn on high, you'll flip it at about the five minute mark when you see some of the browning happen. By doing this on high, the inside is still tender, but the outside is deliciously caramelized to bring out an extra sweetness and texture to those bites. That is so delicious. It's as if it came off the campfire. So add just a little bit of salt. That butter already has a lot in it. It's almost dinner time. I think I want that piece. Oh, and with that stuffing, right next to it. Look how moist that looks. And I like a little more vegetables, please. And I do believe that corn is all popped out. Can you hear the pop? Now we know it's done. So tell your kids when it starts popping, that's when it's done. So the popcorn is arriving to the party. And with these high quality pans, that's gonna be a breeze to clean. This is my kids' favorite part of the dinner. It's delicious, but wait. There's more. Take your chicken out and put it back on the stove and turn that heat on high. And when it sizzles, put in one teaspoon of flour and whisk her up because we're making gravy. So add one teaspoon of your bouillon granules, stir up and add one cup of water. Slowly she goes. Oh yeah. I'm smelling Thanksgiving in the house. And cook her dano. Keep on whisking, otherwise you're gonna have lumps. And someone's gonna make a complaint to the chef. So check your gravy for thickness. How thick do you like it? And if it's not thick enough, I put a quarter cup of water and a quarter teaspoon flour. And I whisk her up so it dissolves. And I add it in a quarter cup at a time. Because if you did the entire thing in water, it wouldn't have that rich roux flavor. But just a little sheet doesn't seem to matter. That's what I'm looking for. That's the thickness I want. Oh yeah. Let's put that sauce on. Look at that gravy. Right on that chicken. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Somebody's gonna want a very wet bite. That would be me. Oh man. I hope you like your Thanksgiving dinner made with a chicken, and maybe not on Thanksgiving. And cleaning your pots and pans is just a breeze. Made in makes, make it like new. It's a stainless steel cleaner. Just sprinkle it on and give it a light scrub. Rinse and shine. And sometimes I just like to put it in the dishwasher and see what happens. Because all of Made In's pots and pans are dishwasher safe. Because that kind of cleaning 
is the fastest. The browning of those vegetables really did a number on this pot. But even those burnt on vegetables come off really fast. Look at that. In no time at all, it's shiny just like new. I think I need to do the rest. This stainless steel cleaner comes with your new potter pan. Oh yeah, I'm time to try it. So let's cut that bite. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna add a little sauce to my liking, which happens to be completely wet with our gravy. Is that all? Not quite. I want some stuffing with that bite. That's Thanksgiving in a mouthful. And I'm thankful for all of you watching this video. And I'm thankful for you making my channel. I'm gonna cry. So successful. Click the link and check out our sponsor, Made In Cookware. I'm thankful for them too. I'm Rebecca Brown, subscribe to my channel and ring my bell to get notified of the next video. And let's keep making great recipes for life because it can be Thanksgiving oh, every day. <laughs> gobble, gobble. <laughs>